do we're back <laughs> there's a musical interlude you missed it everyone <laughs> we had that on break we were enjoying you know the great stylings of yes <laughs> all right anyway okay <clears throat> so uh, you've now met your new friend, Sai, who's going to be your translator. And you, uh, have allowed Fieldings to escape into the wild again, because of course he did. <laughs> yep. He's gonna go stress eat some bugs. He's gonna go stress eat some bugs. <laughs> yep. He, he, he stress eats a lot, bro. <laughs> it's, what his, it's what he does. 95% of the time, stress eat. Uh, what's your current plans? Uh, are you when are you arranging to meet Sai again? Where are you arranging to meet him? What's going on? Um, <clears throat> is the plan just to help up to uh, uh, Chikarta? Chakrata. Chakrata. I did. Yeah, Chakarta is a different place. I. <laughs> I mispronounce things all the time. All the time. There's a lot of nice words in Vampire, which I probably get wrong often. Often. But. Alright, so. Um, I think we need to head more or less straight to uh, Chakrata. Just to make sure that we're actually there when, around when, uh, we said we would be. Which okay. I believe is either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we'll say tomorrow. Okay. You're pretty good at getting things on time. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I said pretty good. I didn't say perfect. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so you will arrange to meet with Sai early on tomorrow uh, evening, basically right after sundown, uh, letting him know that you have some business in town and will need to travel tomorrow evening and meet him. His service is tart. Mm -hmm. He will agree to this, and of course you will have yet another night of rest. Uh, he will have sent you that information for the uh, people you could meet with, so Nathan, you could spend some time with some folks. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm assuming, Leslie Dawn, you just find your own ways of spending time with people. Yeah, probably less hurt. intimate, but still, you know. A lot less intimate, yeah. Yeah. Just prowling. Just prowling. Just hanging around. Hmm. You know, me and Leslie are going out for dinner together. Exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah, we can have a dinner date. Mm -hmm. You guys enjoy. <laughs> I'm sure Nathan will while he's on his own. <clears throat> anyway. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for that one there. That. Thank you for that one. Um, you'll spend the rest of your nights, uh, spend a day resting, and then the next night, um, Renfield, of course, will show up around the same time that uh, Sai will meet you outside of, in out front of the hotel. Um, Renfield will be like, I'll look after things when we get to um, Chakrata, and you can take care of your business, and I cannot be involved in it. Thank you. <laughs> Fieldings, I'm getting the distinct impression you do not enjoy our company. I think your company will get me killed. <laughs> That's fair. We would never get you killed, Fieldings. You're too precious. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> it'll be a decent trip up to Chakrata. Uh, you'll have a rental car. 
something that you can take uh, through the various roads. Of course, it's not as... It, it's still a small town. It's got some tourism. But it's like the roads are a mixed bag. You know, you don't have the same kind of major highways all over that we would find here in the United States or in even some of the, like, like you know, in Europe or Canada to a good degree. You know, the, the first world major highways. There's a few, but not an incredible amount of them. And you will eventually uh, end up on some kind of smaller roads on your trip. <clears throat> but it will be a successful trip and you will manage to get to Tricotta. Anyway, um, there, which hotel were you going to again? I just, I, I the mentioned. Snow Lodge or Snow View Hotel. Yeah, Hotel Snow View. Yep, I figured it was that one, but I wanted to make sure I was uh, not saying the wrong one because I'm good that way. Uh, so, Hotel Snow View. Yeah, it looks like it takes, we, looks like we take the, uh, the one highway part of the good pretty chunk. much the whole way there yeah you got a good chunk of the way there uh but then you would have to like get off at that one because the one highway just takes you straight north it looks like uh pretty much from uh new delhi and chikata is a little bit more to the west so you'll have uh, to... unless i can find I mean, a more detailed map where it's got chikata on here or, you know so 7098 goes up to 507 <laughs> <laughs> which I is, like how which, we're actually looking into the road. Which is think. one, and it looks like it, there's a right turn. Oh no. Yeah, you exit off the highway, mm -hmm. and then you take a right, and you're there. So it's really next to the highway. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, and there's wow. like two other buildings anywhere nearby. <laughs> oh, nope, that's a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So it's it's like on the outskirts of Trigada. Chakrata. God. Yes. <laughs> yes. And by the highway. So you're much farther away from, like, the uh, small areas of the town and stuff like that. Good for you. It does look like you could take Route 1 India all the way up from, I guess, New Delhi. Yep. It starts with a CH. Chakrata. <laughs> Jakarta. <laughs> Oh, God, God. Yeah. <clears throat> so you'll arrive at Chakrata. Ch 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 I will say it right one day. <laughs> with its, <laughs> with its like, $19 a night. <laughs> it is it awareness or alertness? Uh, <laughs> alertness. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. Oh, uh, we love I you believe. <laughs> Wait, I was right. It was alertness. It's the AL. Yay. <laughs> so, you're at, so. The, you're at the Snowview Hotel. <laughs> you're really not spending a lot of money on these trips, are you? No. <laughs> I don't like how Dave is like, you don't have to spend a lot of money to go to all these nice places. Because you're just going in the back end of nowhere. Yep. All right. You check into your rooms. Uh, I'm assuming you got one for Psy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fieldings will have one on his own, and I don't know how you folks want to split up if you want to each oh. have your own room. or We can each have our own room. Okay. $19 a night, like. <laughs> don't watch it You're taking up a large can. section of the hotel. <laughs> of course. Like more room. One whole wing. <laughs> You're like taking up like a wing of the hotel. I... I don't know how many rooms it has. It's a nice looking place, but I don't think it's got super huge amounts of them. I don't know. Uh, it says that it can fit up to about 100 people. Oh, there you go. So I, I, mean, I was looking into it over the break. <laughs> we were looking into it. That's, that's great. Uh, I don't even think there's Wi-Fi here. Oh, God. Oh, no. It says they have uh, television and cable. All right. <laughs> Leslie's going to spend the night or the day watching uh, Bollywood films. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what the one Fina May will also be around <laughs> and basically be like, you know, in her own room learning about 
modern Indian culture because she does have those experiences with it of like, aha, so that's what's the same. Oh, that's what's different. Man, you Westerners have brought a lot of weird things in. Why did we not just have Vita May translate for us? Because she has a really Ish. bad accent. But it's so cute. <laughs> and also, didn't she not... Or no, she did speak uh, English. No, she spoke, no. like, German. Oh, like, that's right. Yeah. Oh, so she technically it'd be Indian that... translated to German, translated to English through me. Yeah. Alright. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> it's a game of telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a great idea. Although, she'll probably be able to communicate with uh, Durgason mm -hmm. if she arrives uh, without any trouble. Yeah. True. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, uh, what are you doing around here while waiting? Watching Probably playing phone games. games. Yeah, watching Bollywood. <laughs> playing phone games. <laughs> like there, there's really not much we can do. Mm -hmm. um, in, in this I guess I could area. read up a little bit on uh, on the Kai Institute and what kinds of things they're publicly known for. Sure. Um, it's a lot of uh, simple things. Not a lot of ba of powerful information, unfortunately. Um, Makes sense. It, it's basically like the technology side. It does seem like they are going into various types of sciences along with some uh, things like uh, archaeological research is on there. Um, like you had seen the agricultural uh, site that was in Romania. It seems like they have a number of these uh, laboratories spread throughout Europe in major cities. You figure there's probably about four dozen buildings that they have publicly, publicly at least. All seemingly with various different uses, which are kind of strange. Because each one of them seems to have a completely different use. Hmm. Interesting. I, I guess... Leslie's just gonna sit in his room, like clean and maintain his gun. Practice, you know, summoning mm. up shadow clouds and see, you know, and study his weird black tender alarm bit. Okay. Makes sense. Poke it, see if it reacts. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Just seems like it's best described as normal. It doesn't seem anything very weird about it. it just no, nothing like... weird, just, you know, black tendrils <laughs> running up and down the forearm. Oh, yeah. Perfectly it, natural, really. It's like you're poking it, and, like, this is this is kind of unusual, but it's also, like, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. You're just, like... It, it hasn't, like, changed at all in the past year, has it? Because, like, it's been a year since our... Or, no, half a year? It's been a while. Since, since our activities in uh, London? <clears throat> it's been a while. Um, yeah, it just, it's just like, you're not sure what it's doing at all. It's, um, very unusual. It hasn't started whispering to me, has it? <laughs> no. Sit awake in the morning, sit awake um, during the day listening to my arm whisper. I, malicious at thoughts. most, you seem like it has slowly spread, but like, very slowly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it used, it's like down your arm a lot more than it used to be, definitely. Mm. Leslie considers chopping his arm off and replacing <clears throat> it with a robot arm. <laughs> uh robot arms. Pretty sure that's Shadowrun. Mm -hmm. Wrong game. Oh, heck. <laughs> yeah, Wrong unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, I can't be a biology so shadow demon. If... <laughs> No, <laughs> I love like my favorite part of these is just getting a giggle out of Nathan. It's the greatest thing. <laughs> oh, so yeah. If if more than a single night goes by, like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna spend more than a night playing with my phone. Yeah. Uh, after a while, I'll probably start trying to figure out, uh, like, learn 
learn a bit more stealth from uh, Leslie. Figure he's probably better at that than me. Mm -hmm. Teaching stuff. Dolan's still practicing uh, hit the ground really quick. That's okay. <laughs> how version of stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Worked for me so far. Cram herself in the darkest corner she can find. Exactly. Okay. It a few days will pass by, and seemingly not a lot will occur. It'll be kind of like all quiet on the western front, so to say. Um, well, that's the direction of the highway, so that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow all right um eventually though uh you will um be like approached by someone like it'll be a time where you're kind of like out and about around the building did you call in candy then uh i mean yeah why okay. not all right, so it's like the day after Candy shows up uh, with a couple of her friends or something from New York who are like, Nathan, you got us a stay at like a fancy ski lodge? Oh, you're so wonderful, Nathan. Mm-hmm. Just imagine that, that, but, you know, British. And then you got Candy. <laughs> British version of like, you know, New York Tramp. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. really Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she probably is with New York Tramps then, but so... Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. They love her accent. Oh, I bet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mean. See, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I'm modded, you terrible mod. So, the day after Candy gets there. Okay. A, um, younger man will kind of, will seemingly walk up towards you. He'll just kind of, like, stir you up and down. <laughs> so. What do you want? I want to speak to Jurgison. <sighs> Why? Why would we even listen to someone like you? He just kind of like like uh, shake his head, just kind of looking at you. Hmm. Last I checked, Durgason was not a we. It's only a favor that I'm coming here and checking you out. <sighs> Thanks, Hart. <laughs> <clears throat> um, kind of probably at this point in time, uh, you know, I would say probably you have to have your translator here. Sai would have had to have been here because he started speaking and you did not understand him. So we'll say that. Ah, Sai. So, Sai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to make your money. <clears throat> I'm guessing I there's no way I can use charisma for this considering it'd be going through Sai too. Probably not. Yeah. That's not, not unless you did like non-verbal stuff you know like you know just like put on a pretty face or something like <laughs> come on i i Leslie think at the moment the i'm the boy. only one who can put on a pretty face the rest of us either have it or don't Dumb. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i mean i got a pretty good appearance <clears throat> um, anyway it is about this time that kind of emerging from her room uh, is Phytome, of which uh, 
she will kind of take a, a look over this person. Um, and say something in an old style of Hindi, basically. You know, something that's... Uh, Sai has some trouble understanding even, you know. And this guy kind of is confused. Kind of like looking her over. Don't worry, Sai. She's something of a historian. Mm hmm? <sighs> Damien, not right now. Okay, um... She's gonna do something, then. Uh, uh... Okay, um... Okay. I'm gonna roll something. She's gonna rip his head off. Cat! Black cat! The blackest of cats. Which, unfortunately, has just crossed our path. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Let's just... I don't know how many dice you'd have for this. Let's just roll that and see how it goes. Let's just say a bunch. All right. Uh, that actually works out pretty well. Um, okay. Get your face out of that. Goddamn cat. <laughs> okay. So, um... He's a hungry boy. She is a very good boy. Um... So... A, she'll like kind of look down at you folks uh, 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 okay she'll follow she'll do something and follow it up with uh, oh god I think probably like some kind of simple illusion um of which like god um all of you now believe there is a giant fire breathing lizard uh like standing above you now that's just standing there hmm mm -hmm. our rogue shit uh, oh, no, it looks that? like, oh. it kind of looks like a weird knockoff of Godzilla. Standing above us. I love those films. Yeah. <laughs> like, is like, it standing on the same ground as us? And it's just like, it's now it, just or? above you guys. Oh, okay, so it's just like standing in the air. Yeah, it's just like standing behind you guys now. Uh, Sai probably soils himself. <laughs> And just kind of like collapses. Um, all of you believe I... it is completely and utterly real. How would you react to this thing showing up? Oh, would I still believe it, even though I know? Um, Time mystery. For you, I do only have one. Please point. roll me intelligence, actually. Yeah. Okay. You got enough that I don't have to worry about. You, you're, like, there's some something deep in your mind that you know this is true, but then, like, you do recall uh, hearing about, uh, because you probably had some discussions as you did learn chemistry, so that you know if you wanted to, you could develop your abilities more on your own. So you learned about, about a few more things. You know that there's this might be very powerful power that she used first. The illusion here is a very simple illusion, but what she combined it with was something called suspension of disbelief, which can she can she basically broke down all of your wills to make something that she was going to create after there completely believable. Uh -huh. so Leslie firmly believes that there is a giant monster. For you, okay. though, it's sort of like there's this emotional overcomments that you're still like trying to fight against. It's sort of like your body still kind of believes 
what you're encountering is real, even though it's just standing there not doing anything. You know, it's uh, is that Dawn specifically or all of us? Uh, Dawn. Okay. It's static. It's just standing there. You know, like as like you know, it looks as though like uh, you know. Um... So we believe that it is a fire breathing. It's not breathing gigantic fire right monster, now, but like you can see, like that's what it looks like. You know, we believe, therefore it is. Yeah, you believe, therefore okay. it is. Kind of. Thing. Leslie is immediately going to draw his gun mm-hmm. and aim at it. Yeah, and also going to do a quick like. Am I able to do like a quick check towards fight me to see if there any sort of body language gives away that this is something she's done, or like try and figure out where this just came from? Like a quick check on her and. The new dude? Uh, sure. Roll me... Uh... Roll me wits alertness. We'll say. Okay. Um... You do notice that Fidame has yet to react to it. You don't know what that means, but basically it's appearing kind of behind her anyway for whatever reason, because it hasn't really made noise, maybe she hasn't noticed it, but you're not sure. Uh, you know, it's sort of like, it's very weird. Um, he is reacting to it, as if it's something that's there. Uh, like, that he's very surprised by, too. Nathan is activating obfuscation and disappearing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Leslie's, and... Leslie's gonna switch to German and uh-huh. ask her just, is this you? Uh, uh, Fidame will then, like, kind of, like, break out of, like, the kind of, like, look that she had towards this, uh, person that seemed to be very, kind of, rude towards her, and then, oh, and then kind of, like, uh, and then quickly saying German, oh, uh, apologize. Uh, and so she kind of, like, just, just, like, all of a sudden it disappears. Le- Leslie has no idea what to say. Mm-hmm. He's just gonna put his gun back in his holster. And, uh, just kind of stare at Fight of Me a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little bit of, a little kind of awestruck. Mm-hmm. Now that is something I gotta learn. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Nathan appears several meters away. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Just, yeah, he's like over there, like he ran away. Uh, oh, yeah. Sai seems incredibly confused about what's going on, like as if, like, uh, he just uh, saw something, like, he, because the thing is, like, that's all he saw. Like, he probably even notice Nathan disappearing. He was too fixated on the giant creature, which he was swore was behind him. Leslie's gonna use Dominate on him mm-hmm. twice. Uh, the first one, uh, just be calm. Mm-hmm. Second one, forget that. Okay, uh, the dementation. Let's see here. Dominate command. So you're just using command twice. Yes. Okay. Uh, roll manipulation intimidation twice for me, please. Just roll them with a difficulty six, and if I need to adjust it because of his willpower, I will. Let me put it that way. But you don't know if it's adjusting up or down. All right, please roll me one more time. All right, he definitely seems to have both calmed down and doesn't and, and like as like he's like, ah, oh, what what is going on? I I did I fall down? I'm yeah, I'm sorry. It, I'm just gonna be like, it's it's okay. You seem to have suffered a bout of heat stroke or something. Are you? Do you need a glass of water? Uh, Perhaps you should go get. He's one? gonna kind of like look around in this area because it's probably like cold or something, like confused. <laughs> Uh, Sai, uh, have you accepted anything from Candy today? N- no. Are you sure? No. Alright, well, take a moment and go get yourself a glass of water. How's that? And cleaned up. Oh. Uh, d- what? <laughs> oh. Candy, Candy frequently uses very strong... Off. All right. Uh, so he will excuse himself and uh, for a bit. 
Uh, Fidame will start going off, and your guys are not going to understand the uh, conversation that's going on here with uh, the other individual. The other individual, you definitely, though, can get a very obvious sense that he's frankly surprised about what happened, and frankly, like... Intimidated? More like seemingly not impressed when you feel like he should be, but it might also be a front. After a while, though, Sai will return with a change of clothes and seemingly a little more it himself, I guess you could say. Feeling better? Uh, yes. Um, your Excellent. friend there speaks... I, I do not know that dialect. Uh, at all? She, Can you understand anything? I'm picking up a little bits of it. Um, She's a very learned lady. She, uh, she knows parts of a language from a time long past. Ah, that explains why I could understand it a little. It is like... <laughs> Reading your Shakespeare. It is very hard In the to... the original. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yes. I am picking up some of it, uh, but not all of it. Um, uh, she is demanding to meet this Durgesin that you wish to meet. Makes sense. That is the point of coming here. Uh, do you wish for me to interrupt their argument? No, please do not. No, please oh, God, no. continue telling us what they are saying uh, so as he, much as you can. He'll loosely translate as best he can. It seems that Fidame is basically saying to him, um, you know, I'm much times your elder, you know, uh, I haven't been here for a long time. Uh, I would wish to reconnect with my old friend. Uh, of course, uh, the man who has yet to introduce himself um, will be very mm, difficult anyway. Uh, the man is definitely Indian by descent, uh, you can tell. Um, and it seems like because she is not, it'll feel like a little bit... Uh, and it seems like he doesn't have as much respect for Durgasin either. Probably for similar reasons. I missed that. He doesn't have what? As much respect for Durgasin. Mm. Because of the same thing. Mm. Um, okay. In the end, though, uh, he, he will agree... Uh, to send word to those that would be able to connect you with Durgasin. He'll, uh, he'll kind of be like, uh, I've done my job, as it is, to meet and see what you were all about to send us such a brazen message as you did. Through channels as you did. You invaders have always tried to find footholds. And unfortunately, in, the new, in this new world, you have been able to. Still. Get your business done and leave India. This is not a place for you. The chief of this man? Yeah. So, are we going to wait here? Uh, Fidame will then, like, will turn to you, Leslie, and be like, I, I apologize for him. It seems that some of the problems from the old days still remain now. We always feared um, influence from outside, at least in India. There wasn't a lot of it in the time that I'm from. You are cutting out hardcore, Tantus. Oh, I'm cutting out yep. hardcore? Oh, great. Yeah. That's better. You can out like a quarter of what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for what he said. It seems that there is some problems. I'm assuming that nowadays there's a lot more influence from groups like the Camarilla. But in India in the old days, there wasn't a lot of it. 
the Ravenos that I'm accustomed to were those that had traveled to Europe, the descendants of them, who had, who had left um, the lands. My sire uh, had come from India originally, and he himself, of course, had that ex had the experience there, but he had seen how vampires from other regions sought to gain influence for generations, especially those of. Um, she'll say something, and you'll be able to interpret basically Middle East. Okay. Um, okay. You know, uh, the block there has had a lot of influence of trying to lay claim to India kind of mm -hmm. thing, spread their influence. And it seems like, uh, she's like, and it seems like with uh, what you had said that has happened to our clan, uh, things are more dire than they're ever worth to maintain control. Most likely mm -hmm. the numbers have not returned that we once had to control, especially with these many mortals at this point. Um, is this man loath to work with the Camarilla? The Ravnos have always had been loath to work with the Camarilla. We are independent. We are on our own. It did not seem he was showing you much in the way of respect, given, I'm assuming what we saw was rather powerful. There is a divide in Ravenos that I knew of even in the old days that had occurred it's hard to say exactly when. The Ravenos that you are more accustomed to, those that you will find in Europe, are of a different sort than you would find here. The clan is, in fact, quite complex. But he will pass on a message for us? He should. Um, Do you has... want me to... Do you have any reason to doubt him? I would not. All right. So, are we intended to continue to wait here? Or is there another place where we are to meet Durgeson? I believe we are to wait here. Um, perhaps I can explain a little bit about my clan and why I am unique for it. She will go into a basic explaining that even by her time, the Ravenos clan had split into Eastern and Western divisions. Western was what was left of what she kind of traveled with. Uh, most of it had kind of gone almost, I would say, like family based or tribal. They'd kind of broken apart. They didn't have a large organization. That's where the gypsy kind of Ravenos came from. Uh, there were some re some remnants of the old ways, but back in India, Eastern uh, groups basically had a caste system similar to that of India. Um, and were broken apart. He's not sure where this one would have fit into this entire system at this point in time just because, especially if a lot of numbers were thinned out, he's not sure how much the Ravenos caste system remained. Mm -hmm. But she worries that perhaps like whatever organization that the clan once had has probably fallen apart, because as you said, if the majority, the vast majority of members are dead, what's left, you know? Mm -hmm. If you lost 95% of your population, you don't really have the same kind of uh, organization slash government that you used to have before. Yeah, the castes are, are they living or not? Yeah. <laughs> so there probably is still something left of it, but probably not more. So that's probably why, like, maybe whatever reason someone asked a favor of this one, who might not have been even more into the normal system, to come and check us out. A, because maybe he had a way of getting away, and B, because maybe, like, they felt he was more expendable. Makes sense. Anyway. 
Yep. Uh, Fight me. Are there any preparations you feel we should make? Anything we should know about that we may end up encountering, should any of this clan turn hostile? Ah. Uh... With what you have said, I do not believe we will have to worry about hostilities. Unfortunately, with the loss of members, I doubt they would go to any kind of battle that they do not need. And you have not proven to be dangerous, and I have proven to be a unusual member. You forget, and which I believe I have not explained to you. I am a exception within the Ravnos. My warrior past led me to a path of knighthood in my practices, which only a few followed, which they may be gone or dead by now. Well, if there's any way we can help you, you need to only let us know. If there is something, I will let you know. All right. Leslie's just going to, uh, he's going to return to his room for now. Yeah. Okay. And in the coming, us, uh, we're still in the hotel, I assume. Or are uh, we just in the area? Yes. All right, he's just gonna like. I don't know. He's got a weird feeling off this guy. So in the coming days, he's just gonna like make mental keep his ideas. guard up. Yeah, keep his guard up. Explore the area. Figure you know where people could or may possibly be coming from, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. Okay. The hotel and its surrounding areas. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, so it'll be some time, uh, a couple more days will pass, and, um, let's see here. And at this point in time, a, uh, you'll sort of get a message. Uh, Nathan, you'll wake up to, like, a letter having been slid under your door. I'll I'll gently push candy towards one side of the bed mm -hmm. and get up and check the letter. Okay. Uh, it seems to be addressed to you. Uh, it says Nathan on it, and Makes inside sense. you can see that it uh, seems to mention uh, to travel into the mountains. With, like, directions for where to go, or what at least what direction to Very head? loose ones. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I will get dressed, and then mm -hmm. find out if anybody else got a letter. Nope, it was only you. Hmm. One never gets letters. Hmm. Phytomay didn't get a letter either? No, she didn't get a letter of any kind. And it's and it didn't specify, like, who to go? Or, it, like... It said, uh, head into the mountains, follow this path, and you will be found. Did it, um... The... I'm, I'm gonna take a look at the letter... Does it imply, you know, heading up into the mountains by a vehicle, a pa like a foot? Um, if you would ask around, uh, Sai could probably find out for you that it is indeed a footpath that you would have to follow. You head out again. It yeah, would be a did. footpath that you'd have to follow. Okay. Okay. And there's no indication of whether it's for just us, aside from the name on the letter, there's no indication that it's just me or the group. There seems to be no distinction between you and the group. They don't say, either way. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Well, just assumed a lot of us. Who would like to go on a trek? Could use a break from this hotel. I love a good trek. All right. All right, and off for you. So it is a um, difficult trek into the mountains. If it wasn't for being, well, un- not alive, you probably would have had a lot more trouble with, like, you know, higher altitude and, you know, uh, <laughs> cold Le- air and things like that. Leslie's just going to range a ways away from the groups. Just, or from the group, just sort of like forward scouting. I mean, like, Leslie, you know for a fact, and you probably would have pushed them, that the cold is still bad for you guys. It's sort of like, if your body freezes, your body freezes. I mean, yeah. you guys don't hold in heat very well, so... <laughs> and we don't have internal mechanisms warming us back up, either. No. Mm-hmm. So, a, a, a vampire sickle is nice and all, but it just isn't very useful. Oh, no, I, no, I mean, like, just scouting... Yeah, you're just scouting, but I'm saying, like, you know, you, you'd probably be in some colder weather gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big old jackets and stuff. Yeah. Let's say snow pants, healthy. Mm-hmm. No pants. Just a jacket. Okay. Just keeping a watch out for anything. Um, Middle of night, so. Yes. I like to be. Did you bring Sai with you? Uh. Well, I mean, I asked who would like to go on a trek. Does Sai is no. Sai interested in going on a trek? He would not be interested. Oh, Sai, then. Hmm. Candy will probably be like, uh, "I'm just going to enjoy the hot tub, honey. When you're done your walk, you can come back." Sounds lovely. All right. Mhm. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, uh, let's go. Uh, so, after about uh, six hours of wandering up into the mountains, you're getting pretty high up there, and you come across an area that seems to have, like, a very nice uh, view of the mountains. Like, you've kind of come to a cliff edge where you kind of could get a view down into, like, down below you. Uh, The trail is definitely becoming a lot more difficult to travel, but, like, the little lights of the town below of uh, uh, Chakrata is kind of pretty. Hmm. Uh, and as you kind of are sitting there, in a kind of like broken English, uh, someone will say, it's a very nice view, isn't it? Indeed. I'll look around. Uh, there's a man kind of like leaning against like the like the cliff wall that's kind of next to you. Um, he seems European. It is uh, fine that all of you can. Allow me to bring you to my sire. She is fine with meeting with you, especially because she has her old friend. Come now. Wonderful. He will lead you uh, for another couple of hours. So you're actually going to be getting closer to, like, you definitely couldn't head back at this point in time. Yep. I was thinking that. Mm -hmm. And eventually he'll lead you to this kind of, like, temple built into the mountainside. Mm. Uh, It seems to be some kind of a Hindi temple hidden up in the mountains here. Uh, Inside, you will see a very old woman. Uh, She kind of is wrinkled. Uh, She definitely does not look Indian. Uh, She's got very kind of like, you know, pale white hair, pale white skin. Uh, And she's going to kind of like look up at you uh, with a kind of like wry look. Um, And... uh, she will basically bark out uh, something, which I'm guessing Fidame will translate at this point in time. We'll say, we'll say you have a translation somewhere. Um, so you've brought to me an old friend. 
Lie to me. I thought you lost. No, my old friend. I was trapped. I was impaled, left for dead, trapped in that place. These three rescued me. Uh, Nathan, Dawn, and Leslie. I'll give her a bow. Mm -hmm. uh, you speak Russian, right? I do. Okay. Um, she's going to say something like uh, that is going to be in Russian. It was like, Hmph. at least they could do something right. And then she's going to switch off to whatever they were talking in. And uh, basically say, uh, Greetings. You have found who you came looking for. I am Durgasim. And we'll take a break here. Woo! We found her. Mm -hmm. She's rude. <laughs> Only Leslie knows she's rude because she doesn't know yeah. Leslie speaks Russian. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Les Leslie's considering what, what to do with this. Quick question. Is she obviously wearing a sword? No. Uh, she's okay. just kind of got... Uh, like simple kind of uh clothing on like uh loose robes she just kind of be kind of sitting around here right now there's no sign of like what she's been doing in the area but we'll take a break uh bathroom drink snack whatever you need come back in a couple minutes and we'll return with the last hour so see you in a second folks <laughs> 